by the night. I'm for truth up next year. Let's put our hands together for our for truth. Thank you very, very, thank you very, very much, everybody. Amber, as always, you are the man. Thank you for putting this on. The hardest working man in show business is right there. The hardest painted man in show business. That's right there, right there, right there. Right there. Right there. All right. Thank you, good sir. Thank you, Morgan and Mulligans, for having us. Thank you so much. Every single one of you, fine folk, for your ear and your time.
could be a sort of spurn that we sort of have against others when we identify ourselves in such a strong nationalistic way. I mean, after all, we're all human beings anyway, the whole world over. And I believe it's important to celebrate our history and how we came to be. But let's not forget that the 4th of July, that's right, and the institutions that made it happen, all oh, those wonderful guys, Thomas Jefferson and such, oh yeah. Let's not forget that even though the ideas of freedom that we have and all the wonderful things that our nation has begun upon us, it was founded by ideas of misogyny, slavery, and spiritual tyranny. Under the guise of one, only one religion, Christianity. So when we think of the 4th of July, we have to remember with open eyes that we as people have evolved beyond a lot of the ideas of the past. And if we are going to last as human beings, we have to grow and come together across the globe. Our flag should be maybe a blue background with a green planet on it, or a green background with a blue planet on it. Every human being on the planet can appreciate that flag. And then if we meet other species of conscious life from other planets or whatnot with their own type of nationality and another galaxy, then we can unite our flag somehow because we are united life entities. Don't you see? It's about how we can all come together and be. And it's not about you versus me. Yes, we should celebrate the fourth together with family and fun and have a good time and take a day off from our hard work. Why not? Even it's okay to celebrate our history, our country, our democracy. We have a lot of freedoms others don't have. It's something that we should be grateful for. When we're human beings, consciousness, we see disorder. We see things fucked up and we want to change it. We want more. So when we celebrate the fourth, remember, it is our responsibility as people, humans, and Americans to question our government, question our systems, our powers that be. Those that might bring upon a great sort of corporate capitalist tyranny of making people want to buy, 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 buy incessantly. Yes, because that is what America has become. Everyone knows that we are under the thumb of corporate tyranny. As we celebrate the fourth, we have to remember that if we are true Americans, if we truly love our country and our world and our people and our brothers and sisters, we have to get out from under the of the fucking fucked up institutions that are screwing up our planet and our world. God bless the reality, universe, universal energy of all reality, bless. Everyone somehow so we can come together under the fun of even hatred. As I'm saying this, I don't want to hate those whose tendencies are to frustrate intellectual evolution. I don't want to come out here with aggression against those who are causing so much pollution. I want to say, hey, we need to work together to find a solution. We are all one. Yes, it is. Yes, we should have a flag with six billion stars on it. And every time someone's born, we add another star. Yes. And that's, that's how we should unite ourselves. We should remember we are all together somehow. Our differences are what make us interesting. Not something that we should kill each other for, no. There are all kinds of ways to defend our borders, to defend our ideas. It does not have to be violent to the military rule. I swear to God, we have a lot more power in our, in our coming together, in love, in working for making things better.
how we can continue to unfurl a greater sense of being, harmony, and community. Yeah, I can't help it. 